Put in. Right, object today. Oh, just to mention and all, the Veltrin came today. I've only got an order of wrong stuff. <laughs> I'm just wondering if anything can go right while I'm doing this van. Yeah, so I've got the lining carpet instead of the four-way stretch. Well, anyway, right. Uh, these pieces here, you know, for the curve at the front of the bed. Right. Obviously, I've got to cut down there. I'm just using a standard jigsaw. Right, I've done one. Uh, there. Which will look well when it's up. Well. There. It's alright, isn't it? Right, uh, I'm going to get on with this now. Fuck that, he's better than them. From thickness. Uh, just a little bit of a tip for you. I only have one clamp. So, clamp it together, get a piece of wood, and basically screw it, hold it closed, and then use the clamp on the other side. It's just in case you short the clamps, that's all. So, Tip number one. <laughs> As you can see, obviously this is the above the cab bed. It's starting to rain now, so I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to pack it in, which I'm pissed off at. Uh, yeah, I've just uh, tiger sealed it down. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Tiger sealed it down and... Uh, Put some temporary screws in, not that it matters anyway, because I'm going over with the Veltrin. That carpet that I've got, the wrong carpet. I are hoping to get some insulation, because insulation will go in there now. Like I say, these here are only strengtheners. Uh, yeah. Fucking rain, again. I'm back in van today. Uh, Last night I 20 mil, 20 mil, three pieces of 20 mil, and uh, clamped them together last night. Left them overnight. I put that on to set. Hopefully it will be f set enough in a couple of hours. Uh, this is me bed that I finished yesterday. That's the actual top. Uh, like I say, these braces here, they just, well in fact they can come off now because <coughs> the pliers underneath on the other side. Uh, I'm going to be putting some frame on this. I've decided I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take it out all the way across. Uh, slumped on this window. I'm still worried about doing it to be honest. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, I've also decided on the front here, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is board, I'm going to board this today, then it's done, it's out of the way, put another strengthener there, uh, yeah, and once the board reaches the end, there, just, and I'll do the same at this side, it'd be like having a fresh piece, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll use the 25 mil that I've got because the rubber I've got is 30 mil. So yeah, uh, yeah. So I'll basically do all this front with uh, 25 mil. Uh, what else did anybody want to show you? I don't know I've done yet. I've lost it. I had some wood that I cut to 45 degree angle to go across there for that there's like a bit of a erdigerde that comes down. Uh, this does fit by the way. So it's a case now of oh yeah I've got <laughs> I ordered some Veltrim last week, last Wednesday. 
and uh, I did wrong stuff. I don't know what's wrong with me, I don't know. Yeah, I ended up getting the carpet and I got the vel trim for a simple reason. I was going to do this, this here, under here, look. Just to tidy it up in here a bit. Note, but thought while well, I've got this off the top, I'll do that. Anyway, I'll get back to you. I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to board this. That's first job. No, in fact, I'll put some frame in here first. Uh, yeah, and that can be setting while I do the board for that side. And then once the boards are on both sides, I'll rip, like I say, I'll rip the rest of this out. Frame all this. So I'll try and get all this done in day. Frame all that up and uh, yeah, it's that window. I'm dreading it, I'll be honest. Right, going by. Uh, just while I've got it in my head, somebody asked me on the Talbot OC uh, how I broke the window. Windows, sometimes when you lift them up, you know, like out, when you lift them out and keep hold of them and they'll just drop out they just like on a on a pivot if you will when you go like that with window you go up and you turn and then that holds it so that's simple some slide off what i did with this was <coughs> this is what annoys me i know I, I know the procedure i went outside with a piece of stick to hold it up to prop it to open the window and then prop it up open and then come inside and do round the window, you know, with, with framing. Right, when I came in and stepped on the van step, obviously the van tilted, so that lifted the window a bit more, and down it went, smash. Word of warning, I won't do that again. The window's coming off. Simple as. Sometimes it can be a bit bad to get back on but anyway that's that's the thing right somebody just asked me thomas window rubber at the front uh i haven't got a clue <laughs> i don't know how to fit the rubber uh you can buy them from coh baines um also seals direct you can get them from there um what you have to do is take the window out and measure your frame, the, the thickness, you know, from internal to external. Uh, it's 25mm, 27mm, 30mm. I'm 30mm. Right, so, yeah, that's it really. I, I'm not too sure, but I know there's a, a rubber that go. Once you put the glass and the rubber in, the window can still move. Now, there's a groove all the way around the rubber on the outside. And then you get this here, there's a little strip, uh, I think it's called a locking strip. And that, you buy from COH Baines, you have to go to buy that separate, but it's only 67p a metre. And what it is, that goes inside the strip. And once you put that in, it tightens everything up. Without that, you might as well just not bother. Um, if you get it from Seals Direct, it's included in the price. But I find Seals Direct, this is my own personal opinion, uh, a bit difficult to check out you know they, i think they're more for business rather than for commercial right uh yeah that's it really uh while they were in my head i want, just wanted to uh, answer them a few questions uh just uh, an update to you uh, i've made this frame uh looking good Regarding this lot, all this is for, hang on, yeah, all this is for is so I can put wedges to push it, to push it back, that's all it is. Uh, yeah, uh, I've cut a piece of board for that, I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? I've got a camera wrong way around, let's, let's spin it round.
I like to say I've done this. Decided to take this off, and uh, I've never seen. Well, I didn't know. If you look at the back, there's no wood. It's just polystyrene, and I can't understand why, unless it's the only way they could get the curve in off of the rubber. Weigh that up because there's wood here. Going all the way down here, there were wood. Uh, nothing. Not there. So I'm just wondering whether I'm better off leaving it and uh, put my wood there underneath. I've never seen that. Mind you. Yeah. I don't know what to do now. Looks like I'm going to have to annoy Mana Blade again. Sorry, Nigel. Hello. I've been on for a few days. Uh, well, I've had other things to do. I don't know what to do with you. Right, anyway. Took the window out. Above the pull at the front of the pod uh, somebody were asking me how do you take them out in fact how do you put them in as well and I'll be honest with you I didn't have a clue but <coughs> well, I'm going to have to pause right back This is the rubber from outside. Uh, let's see. If you can see there. If you can or not. Yeah, that groove. Right, when it's on the window, like that, the frame's obviously under there. Right. I think. Hang on, let me look. Yeah. So this here. Once you get it over the wood, there's a piece of rubber. Now this rubber goes inside, inside that. And what happens is, it expands the rubber, so giving it a seal. <coughs> That's all I can put it down to. But I'll tell you now, it were a pig. There, that's how it goes, look. Yeah, I'll just put it in, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll tell you what, I'll put light on it. Huh. Oh. There. Yeah. It's a bastard. Right, anyway, look, it goes in there anyway. Right, now before you take the rubber off, oh, you've got to pull that out. Once you pull it out all the way around, all the rubber goes bleh, 
And it's basic then of bend up the rubber, pull the winder out, and then obviously all the rubber just comes off. Uh, I'll put a blue tarpaulin over it because no doubt it's going to rain if, again. So, done that. All that there, that mess. <laughs> yeah, all that mess. No matter, because my Veltrin's coming tomorrow. I were hoping to have this done yesterday. No chance, is there? Right, anyway, uh, yeah. What I'm going to do now... Oh, that's another thing. Just let me turn this round. Bit messy with camera work. Right, look at this. There's no wood. It's just polystyrene. The rubber, we're on there. I just, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this rubber off. Uh, sorry, polystyrene. I'm going to put some 25mm uh, frame all the way around. Uh, I'm going to do that now, so then it's set for tomorrow. Uh, well, that's it, really. Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, Sandra's been at it. This trim that were on here, she's covered all that, formed it and everything. Got to take this off for her. Tell you, once this is done here, I should fly. Should fly through it. You'll see a massive difference. Uh, oh, another thing. I were on about this. Uh, <coughs> the frame that were around here were 25 mil thick. These are 20. There is 20. Right. Imagine putting your 25 mil there. And what they'd done, it were only 10 mil wide. Only like a thin piece. In fact, it's here. That. Right, it's 25 mil by, in fact, it's about 15 mil wide, isn't it? Right, now what they've done, put that there for the sake of argument. Yeah. And then at the side, they've used 20 mil, leaving a 5 mil gap. And that is for when the board, then the board actually butts up. Oh shit. Butts up against this, so the board will be level with that. That's what's happened. So. Yeah, now you know. Any questions, uh, just ask down there or hit the subscribe button. Right, I'm going now, people. Oh, by the way, look what I had to balance on. Look at that. 50 odd year old balancing on that. I mean, I get dizzy on a stepladder. First. Bloody run. I'm terrified. But anyway, that's out. I'm, I'm chuffed. I'm really, 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 really chuffed. What, oh, yeah, what I'm going to have to do with you is just get a 25mm square. Cut it. That's it. Oh, I'm looking forward to this now. Right, bye-bye, people.